got a car that a customer towed over here because it won't start and I'm going to show you how to fix the computer system. Now in this case the check engine light is on and it has the code PO340, the cam position sensor circuit is a malfunction. Now a new cam position sensor was already put on the car but that didn't fix it so now it's to me a professional mechanic to figure out what's wrong. As you can see here on the engine it's already got a new cam sensor put on it so we know it's not the sensor. And if you want a good tip for these sensors only buy the factory OEM ones, the aftermarket ones often stink. Now since it's still got the cam sensor code that means the sensor and the computer aren't communicating correctly. And let's pray it's not a bad computer because they cost a fortune but I know these have problems with the connectors corroding so let's check that first. In this case the computer is hiding under the dash under the steering wheel so let's take this cover off and look inside. This dash just has a couple of screws in it then it pops right off. Uh. And when we look under the dash here's the bottom of the computer. We'll unplug it and see what the connectors look like. But before you work on any computer system first disconnect one of the battery cables. Because you don't want a power surge running the computer. So just pull one cable off and move it out of the way. And on these Nissan computers there's a lever you pull it off and then you just pull the connector off. And then we can pull it out of the way. What we're looking for here are either bent pins or green corrosion. As you can see here there's a bunch of green corrosion. Copper will corrode and be green and the connections aren't good so we'll get some spray electrical cleaner. I've been using this stuff for years. Just make sure you get electrical cleaner. Don't use anything else. Then you just spray the cleaner all around till the green's gone. And of course clean the connector itself that snaps onto the computer too. And then snap the wiring back on. Put the battery cable back on. Then before we put all this mess back together, let's crank it up and make sure it starts. Well, here goes nothing. And away she goes. So now you know how to fix corroded electrical connections on a computer system. Because a $5 can of cleaner sure beats the heck out of a $1,500 computer. And remember, if you've got any car questions, just visit ScottyKilmer.com.